So, where do DJs get acapellas from? That's the subject of our show today. This is Digital DJ Tips. We are live. So if you're watching the recording on YouTube or Facebook, you're going to get all the info. I am going to link underneath to an article where you can get all the links because I'm going to fire through a lot of stuff here. So I don't think you've got to write it all down. But also, if you are watching us live, you can ask questions at the end. That's how it rolls here every Tuesday and Thursday in Term time on Digital DJ Tips, the world's leading DJ school. Right, acapellas, why? Why have them in the first place? They're great fun. To DJ with acapellas is to be creative. It's a way of doing things other people might not have done because if you get a new song and you get a new acapella and you realize they work together, you could be the first DJ in the world to do all that stuff. It's live remixing, it's discovering new things, it's fun, and it's easy to do it properly when you know how, but you gotta have the acapellas. So in this live lesson, I'm gonna teach you where to get them from. I'm gonna have a tip at the end. If you get very nervous about DJing with acapellas, if you've always wanted to do it, but you get really nervous about it and you think, you know, this is something I don't think I'll be able to, to do because I get there, then I'm gonna show you about how to do that as well. So that's all coming up in the next 10, 15 minutes or so. And at the end, I've got a, uh, a special, um, offer for you really, I guess you could call it an offer if you wanna take this further, I'll give you some more info about that. Right, so until recently, acapellas were an easy thing to find by using basically one website that everyone knew. Um, we didn't get them off records anymore. I mean, back in my day, you used to get records and every now and then you'd buy like a really expensive import double 12 inch pack and somewhere away on side D, there'd be an acapella of the track you'd bought. We, we don't do that anymore. But for many years, what we have done is what I'm gonna show you now, the first thing I wanna show you, which is go to a site like acapellas for you And acapellas for you is a website that went for many, many years where you could, it was a bit clunky, but it worked, where you could download free acapellas. Now that just earlier this year finally stopped for good. It might look like it's still there, but it isn't. This, as soon as you start clicking around, it's something else entirely now. So this is now gone. And there was another website as well, which was quite good actually. Uh, this one here, Vocla It, uh, which kind of took over from Acapellas for you because it was very slick and it had an awful lot of stuff on it. Again, it kind of just disappeared. And so these two websites were kind of, and a few more, there's a few more, and you might even find some that are still alive, but basically finding websites where you can get acapellas, which used to be the way, uh, is not really the way anymore, unfortunately. Uh, and that's what's changed in 2023, so that's why I want to give you some other ways of getting them today. It's gonna be some kind of like, hey, that's good, and hey, what a shame. Well, we've just covered the what a shame stuff, so the rest of this is gonna all be good. Right, so where else can you get acapellas from? Well, surprisingly enough, just like we used to get them in the old days from our Vinyl, uh, you know, they did it did occur. They still do occur. You still can get a acapellas from the same places that you buy music from. I used to be record shops. Now it's download stores. So, for instance, uh, Tracks Source is a good download store for house music and so on. And you search acapella at the top on your favorite download store. Try all the different spellings because there are several spellings of acapella, two C's, one C, two words, one word, all that kind of stuff. So test all the spellings and you'll uncover acapellas on the websites where you just normally buy normal music, which is good to know. Uh, but as well as uh, getting them from your download store, so Track source, Juno download, and maybe even Beatport. I think we can show you um, Beatport here. By the way, what's happened to Beatport's uh, look and feel? I'm really not sure about it. Anyway, here's uh, Beatport. I bet it looks nice on an iPhone 15 Max or something. Uh, right, so cool. This is Beatport. Now what I've done is go in at the top and I've typed in DJ tools. And then you get all what Beatport thinks you might want as a DJ rather than just someone listening to dance music. And you saw there on the screen an acapella compilation. Also we've got the top 10 acapellas here or top 10 DJ tools here. Most of these are acapellas as you can see. Sweet Dreams acapella. Uh, my house acapella at the bottom, can't get enough, Soul Seeker acapella, uh, sorry, Soul Searcher acapella. So these are big acapellas, right? You can get them on Beatport. You don't have to do anything else other than go and buy them. And they'll be really high quality acapellas. So do go to the normal place where you buy your music and just see if they've got acapellas that you can use from there as well, because you might be surprised at what's available out there. So there's other places to find official acapellas. 
Another one, and this is a pro tip because you need to make a bigger decision as to whether this is the right way forward for you. Another one is to go to download pools. Now a download pool is a place where pro DJs get their music, but you don't have to be a pro, pro, pro DJ. As long as you are someone who every now and then plays a gig, maybe you've got a Facebook page for your DJing, maybe you've got a couple of mixes on Mixcloud, maybe you've got some uh, an event, a Facebook event with your name on it. You gather all those things up and you go to one of these sites and you say, yes, I qualify for your website. I am a working DJ here's a few links and more often than not they'll say okay you can join why do you have to qualify as a working dj to join the sites i'm about to show you the download pools because they give you for one monthly subscription all the upfront music you could possibly want all the new music you could possibly want and that's therefore a really good way of getting Good music anyway to put in your DJ sets. Great for working DJs, but better than that, they give you DJ friendly versions of songs with easy to mix in and out beats. Short versions, long versions, clean versions, remixes of stuff which is great, but not dance floor friendly. So now you can play it on your dance floors. They give you all that stuff. That's why I said it's a bigger decision whether you want to join one of these download pools not only about acapellas, but they've got acapellas as well. And more importantly, they've got those mixes that you often hear radio DJs using where it seems to be uh, quite happily playing a song and then it'll go into another song, but the, the lyrics still there from the previous song or the next song. They're special acapella mixes that have actually the song as well as the acapella in one file that you can just play and it just makes it so easy to use. So do have a look at download pools. Now, obviously the downside of this is they're gonna cost you uh, and it's more expensive than a normal streaming service. But these aren't streaming services. They might be online, they might be full of music and they might be a subscription, but the idea is you download the music to your desktop. And so DJ City is one that we would recommend. BPM Supreme is one we would rec recommend. Again, there's no need to scribble any of this down. We'll give you the links uh, in an article. Uh, and Zip DJ is another one that we like, or especially good for house music, Zip DJ. Now, if you like the idea of just getting the acapellas that you want to use on a subscription you already have, uh, but you don't want to spend big money, because if you're not a working DJ, they're quite expensive, these, these kind of services. What you can do is just use the streaming service that you've got if it plugs into your DJ software and you're off. Now, there are several streaming services that do, Beatport and BeatSource, Tidal and SoundCloud. Now, they're all gonna have acapellas on them. SoundCloud might have acapellas that you can't find anywhere else, for instance. Beatport will have the same ones that we just looked at, at least it's likely to, uh, when we looked at the Beatport site. BeatSource is an open source site and they are doing deals with the major labels so they can offer DJ tools, which may well be including as they move forward lots of acapellas. So have a look at there. But the one I've got here is the one that most uh, DJs will choose as their first streaming service because they can use it also just as a general streaming service, like a replacement for Spotify or Apple Music because they don't start into DJ software, right? So if you want a general streaming service, but you also want to DJ with it, you need one that does both. And Tidal is the closest to that. So Tidal has got um, acapellas on it. Now I just had a very, very quick search. And the first thing I came up with was classic rap, classic rap acapellas. Look, there's 50 odd classic rap acapellas there. Uh, rap acapellas, try saying rap, rap acapellas after a drink or two. Not that I've had a drink or two. Uh, look, there's gonna be loads of acapellas on there that you can use as well uh, on any streaming service. And then you can just plug them straight into your DJ software. So your DJ software, if you've never seen any, any of this stuff, uh, down the left-hand side, this is Serato, but it's in all software. You can have the streaming service that you use. And the idea is that you put the acapellas that you want to use from your streaming service into a playlist. And then that playlist, Will appear down here and you can have a playlist called acapellas um, that is not actually acapellas it's something different uh, and so this is going to be the place where you can find them and then drag them onto your decks and get on with djing with them so download pools are a good place your streaming service is a good place for acapellas um, now we're going to go a little bit renegade now we're going to go a little bit gorilla because so it's probably a good time to talk about a couple of things that are very, very important when you're DJing with acapellas, not only in 2023, but any time. So let's talk about those two things and then we'll go underground. Then we'll, uh, we'll go a bit, a bit uh, off the beaten track for the next tip. Right, so there's two things. One, legal. Can you DJ legally with acapellas? I'm not a lawyer and I'm not living in your country, but what I'll tell you is this. If you own the actual track that you are using an acapella from. So say I'm using the acapella from Can't Get Enough by Soul Searcher. If I own Soul Searcher Can't Get Enough and I obtain the acapella of Soul Searcher Can't Get Enough in any way, ethically, for me, 
That's fine. I've already bought the track, right? I can put it into my DJ software, and we're going to talk about this in a minute, and press a few buttons and get a, a reasonably passable a cappella already, right? So to then say, actually, no, I want to go and just try and find a better version of it. It's absolutely fine, ethically. I can sleep happy knowing that. Legally, it's over to you. I'm not going to try and, uh, try and guess the laws in your country or your view on that. But ethically, I think if you own the track, however you get the a cappella of that track is fine. That's my view. The second really, really important thing is this. Acapellas are often obtained by the person who made the acapella in ways which mean they don't sound very good. And so if it sounds bad, it is bad. Don't think that, hey, it's an acapella, so it'll be all right. You know, someone's made it who, who knew what they were doing. They didn't know what they were doing. If it sounds like someone who can't sing doing a bad cover version of the acapella you're looking for, it is someone who can't sing doing a bad cover version, right? The only caveat here is that the acapellas that you can obtain using non uh, studio means, i.e. it doesn't come from the original studio. That kind of acapella will sound slightly ropier than a studio acapella. Just give it a chance. Play it over what you want to play it over the top of. Because if you do that, then you might find actually it's just about passable, at least for DJing. Maybe not for producing, but for DJing. But look, trust your ears. Your ears aren't going to lie to you. It's funny, something about DJing is that people, people love music, they love dancing, they know what's good, they know what's bad, and they start DJing and they start second guessing themselves and saying, is that good? Is that bad? Can I use that? Can't I use that? Does that work? Does that sound awful? You knew it all before you started DJing. Draw on that wisdom. Have confidence in yourself and trust your ears. Trust your ears is a big one. Right, okay. Now we've covered those two things. Let's move on and cover the, the, uh, the, the renegade way of getting acapellas. Look, you can find acapellas anywhere. You've got Google. You've got YouTube. You've got Twitter and TikTok and Instagram, and people are using acapellas out there in all kinds of places, and they're sharing them for all kinds of reasons. They're on movies, they're on Netflix, there's bits of video, there's bits of audio, and there's people singing, and there's things you could potentially use all over the place. And if it sounds good to you, and if you're happy with it ethically, then great, go for it. But how are you gonna record it? Well, that's the tip here, because anything you can play on your computer, so you get your Netflix app up, get your YouTube up, whatever. Anything you can play on your computer, it's possible to record from. So I'm going to show you how you do that now. Uh, and you just need a little app, and I'm going to show you a free version and a paid version of these little apps as well. So for instance, you go to YouTube, you Google acapella, there's loads and loads and loads of playlists of acapellas on, Go on YouTube. Applying what I said, make sure you own the track and make sure you listen to it and make sure it sounds all right. Look, it's possible to grab these things and use them, but you've got to be able to record them. Two tips then. If you've got a little bit of money to spend, I have used this app for 10 years. It's absolutely brilliant. It's an, a Mac app called Loopback, and it lets you take the output from anything. So in this case, it would be Safari or the Netflix app or Tidal or whatever, and it lets you route it into anything else. So you could route it into QuickTime, because this is a Mac, and just hit record on QuickTime, and now you've got an acapella from something that was playing in your computer. Now, this is paid for. There is another one. It's not quite so pretty, but we've been using this one for years as well, and it's called VB audio. Again, all these links we're going to give you in the article that accompanies this tutorial. And this, again, will let you take the output from your browser or from Netflix or whatever, as uh, long as it's playing on your laptop and route it into anything that you use to record on your laptop. So literally any recording software, something like Audacity, uh, or just in my case, I just use QuickTime on a Mac to record. Job done. Now you've got an acapella from something that was playing on your computer. So, there are other ways of making acapellas. So I'm gonna give you two, to end off this kind of like where to get them from, I'm gonna give you two, uh, two extra ways of doing it. And we're getting right up to the most modern ways of doing this now. So the first way of doing it is, funnily enough, to use a piece of DJ software. Now, Virtual DJ is a piece of DJ software that has got probably the best acapellas engine or the best stems engine. So stems is a way of taking any track that you load and isolating just the bit you want, in this case the acapella. Now Virtual DJ to download and use on your laptop and not plug a controller in is free. Yep, it's free. So you can download an acapella, dial out everything apart from the 
vocals, hit play, hit record, and you've got an acapella straight out of Virtual DJ using their fantastic algorithms to give you a really pretty good, generally it does a really good job. And so because it's free and because it's the best quality out there, I would really recommend doing that. Now that said, I've already shown you Serato. If you're a Serato user and you own Serato, uh, then Serato's are a very, very close second. Serato has got exactly the same functions. You can switch the stems uh, on and off in Serato. Here they are at the top uh, and do the same thing. So it's possible to do it that way. If you're using your streaming service, it won't let you record. But if you've been listening carefully, you know how to do that. I've just shown you ways of recording your audio on your computer. And so these are other ways of obtaining acapella, of obtaining acapellas uh, and then making them yourself from any track. But our favorite new app, our favorite current app rather, because it's not new, uh, is one that we are going to be featuring in something I'm gonna tell you in a second, uh, which is Rip X. Now there's lots of ways of ripping acapellas out there. There's uh, websites that'll do it, there's little websites that'll charge you a small subscription to do it, but we have been playing with, and I've got to thank Mixmaster G, uh, my friend Mixmaster G, for putting me onto this one because it is, as he says, really, really good. Uh, we have been using this for a few weeks now, and this is definitely the real deal. So it's uh, called RipX, and you'll find it online if you go to hitandmix.com, hitandmix.com, although I will give you all this stuff in an article as well, so check the description. And this is a great way of doing exactly what I just said you can do on Virtual DJ or on Serato, but you can do it in a program that's dedicated to it. So instead of doing it in real time, this will take a few minutes to analyze a song that you plug in, but once it's analyzed it, you'll have very, very clean uh, acapella available to you and other stems as well. So the drums and the vocals and the bass and all other kinds of stuff, but then you can tweak it and then you can improve it further. And this is, if you're really serious about getting the kind of acapellas you hear DJs playing on big festival stages, right? They, this is how they do it, right? So there's a, another big program out there. Isotope make, make a way of doing this, but I think Ripex is actually better. Uh, so this is paid for, this is a hundred dollars to get this, but uh, we are um, happy to say that you'll be able to get a saving on this. Uh, now I'm saying this now, which I probably shouldn't because it's not penned, but it has been agreed in, in, in principle with these uh, great people over at this company who are going to give you uh, this software at half price if you do the next thing that I'm gonna tell you, right? So if you, uh, you watch this and you think I'm really serious about my acapellas, I want to do them ahead of time uh, and I want to do them well, then this is the way to do it and we can get you a half price copy of this software uh, if you do what I'm about to talk about. So what am I about to talk about? Come on, Phil, spill the beans. Right, we have got a acapellas and stems mixing course. We are reaching the end of filming this course. It's an incredible new course. It's bang up to date. It covers how to DJ with acapellas and also talks about stems, not only for making acapellas and for making drum tracks and other things that you can use them for, but how to DJ with these things. Now this course is the real deal. This is for you if you're serious about doing this stuff. If you want to introduce this kind of DJing, maybe you're a mobile DJ and you want to know how to use them to get your crowd singing, to hype people up. Uh, and uh, if you're maybe a club DJ and you want to use them for live remixing, or you're a hobby DJ and you just want to do this for fun. Um, it is how to mix with acapellas because they're what everyone wants to use and stems. We've included stems as well because hey you might want to do redrums of your tracks to make them sound punchy and fresh uh, and you might want to swap the bass lines over which is a great way of using stems and all that stuff. So we cover it all. Uh, it covers everything I just talked about but in much more detail so I'll show you and we'll talk through together and we'll, we'll show you exactly how to get stems, how to create stems, the software workflows in all the pieces of DJ software not just virtual DJ and, uh, and record box, uh, but other software, and, and uh, Serato, but Recordbox, and Traktor, and all the other software as well. How to beat grid acapellas, and how to get everything prepared, how to organize your acapellas for DJing, so you can always find what you want. But it's mainly a mixing course. So we'll be giving you the basics, talking talk to you about timing, about levels, about how to mix in key, because acapellas uh, are really, really important to get in the right key. How to use cues and loops and effects and all that stuff. Uh, where to use them, right? You've only got two decks, you mix into an acapella, what do you do next? Ah, you know, how to do that, how to get in and out of acapellas, how to weave them into the flow of your DJ. And then the main part of the course, after we've done all that stuff with you, the main part of the course is loads of tricks and techniques, loads of actual, real, brilliant tricks and techniques that you can just take from us and plonk into your own DJ set, as is. 
With our blessing, we'll show you everything you need to do, what buttons to press, what knobs to turn, what faders to push, and we will talk you through it with videos and annotations. If you've ever had any of our mixing courses before, you know the deal. Uh, and there'll be dozens of those for you to watch and learn from, and then go away and apply to your own music as you wish. Uh, all genres, all styles, pop, hip hop, dance, etc., etc. As as you'll know if you are a mixing course student of ours in the past. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun uh, and it's coming soon. So if you're interested and you want to get that $50 discount on RipX, which is just going to be one of the extras, one of the bonuses you get within the course, and you want to learn more about this, what you need to do is go to here and put your email address in. Then we can not only let you know about it, but we'll make sure you're the first to know when this goes on sale and get you a nice saving on it just for that launch week. To do that, uh, you're going to go to djtips.co, djtips.co slash stems. Okay, so djtips.co slash stems. Do that, you're going to land on that page there, stick your email address in, and when this is ready in uh, just a few months, we will let you know, uh, and then you'll be able to jump on board our new How to Mix with Acapellas and Stems course. Now, I said to you that I had one tip right at the beginning that I wanted to share with you at the end, uh, and this is for you if you're nervous about using stems, if you're nervous about DJing with acapellas, if you know you want to do it and you can do it at home, but you just know that as soon as you get on your decks, in a real situation, it's all gonna go, uh, and you just, you know, you, you take them with you, you prepare them, and you can just never, ever do it. How do you get around that? How do you get to the place where you're happy to do it? Well, I've got a secret for you. When a DJ, a pro DJ, does this stuff in front of thousands of people at a festival, most of them, not all of them, laid back Luke, James Hype, our tutors, they do this stuff live. They're the real deal. But when most of those guys, most of those girls get up there and do this stuff, they don't do it live. They pre-prepare. They get their DJ software loaded up and they pre-prepare it and they record a remix. They record a version with the, the stems and with the acapellas and they take that recording and put it in their DJ equipment so they can then play. And in fact, you know, a lot of them can't use these features because they're not on a lot of DJ gear. If you're using something like a pro DJ setup here, there's no stems on here, right? So you want to use this then you've got to pre-prepare it. But there's other reasons as well. One of the main ones is you just don't want to mess up in front of everyone live. So it's, it's perfectly all right. You're not faking and you're not um, in any way letting down the culture of DJing by figuring out a really nice acapella, a really nice instrumental, how they fit together and going off and recording that and then taking that away and using it in your set as is, finished. Your own remix, right? That's absolutely fine. So in this lesson, we've talked about an awful lot. We've talked about how to get stems in 2023, how to get acapellas rather in 2023, where to get them from, the pros and cons, the ethics, the legal side of this, uh, how to check that they sound all right. Um, and also we've talked about doing it in software, doing it on your own desktop, uh, including how to record stuff on your desktop if you want to go renegade, you want to go off piece with all of this stuff. Uh, and I've given you a little bit of a flavor of what's coming up in our forthcoming course. For the rest of this live lesson, I'm going to talk to you. We're going to go live to uh, it's like a radio DJ. Hey, we're going to go live now. Uh, the line 12. It's uh, it's Chuck over there in uh, Pennsylvania. No, it's not line 12, uh, but it is uh, live on my screen. I've got all your comments coming in here from every single platform, YouTube, Twitch and uh, Facebook. So uh, wherever you're watching, they're here. Uh, let's talk then, people. Hello. How are, we, how are we doing? And if you're watching the replay, by the way, you can stop now, but hang around because there's quite often some really good questions asked and tips that I haven't covered here. So if you're watching the replay, you might want to hang around. Uh, right. What have we got then? So um, Zombie, Pixel, USA says, I love virtual DJ stems, but I've now switched to engine DJ. You're, you've gone to standalone, right? Um, I hope they release stems for all their devices on engine. I really love my mix, my mix stream and I'm not ready to replace it. Uh, I'm sure it will at some point. So this is a bigger story that we're not going to go into now, but I'm sure it will at some point to answer your question. Uh, right, so um, this is from, uh, I'm looking for questions here. It's questions I'm looking for, things I can help you with. It's great that you're all chatting. So hello everyone. Hello to William and Benny and DJ Ginormous and Mr. Horsey and the Ruckus and Mix Master G. All our usual uh, fantastic regulars are here. Uh, but I'm going to uh, I'm going to pull out information and questions. So Mix 
Master G says, Dutch remixer and producer Ben Liebrand always tried to include acapellas of his hits on the 12 inch so other mixers could use them. Yes, we used to love it when an acapella appeared on, like, like I said, side D of a double pack or something, uh, and that same acapella would crop up all over the place. Uh, and they were also bootleg. 12 inches bootleg vinyl you could get with acapellas on as well, couldn't you? Uh, so DJ Sarah Hall, uh, woohoo, says Sarah, home in time to catch Phil uh, for a change. With the common use of stems now, do we need acapellas for DJ? Or is it more useful now for using as samples in producing your own tunes? Well, look, acapellas, uh, it doesn't matter how you get them. You can get an acapella by taking the track and turning everything else off apart from the acapella, or you can uh, get an acapella by getting an actual file, which is just the vocal. Or you could do the first thing, turn everything off that isn't the vocal, record that, take that, put it back in your DJ software and use it. As an, it doesn't matter how you use them. The point is we can isolate the voice of a track, right? That's the point. Um, so really it doesn't matter how you do this. Um, so this is from... Uh, Bap Jap, who says, I find it surprising that controllers haven't already been made um, like the Mixstream Pro uh, with built-in speakers and easy access to cloud music. Right, so this is a slightly different question here. Um, so you're saying, why aren't controllers being made that have got all the stuff that, uh, that some of the stuff that's come out recently that standalone has? I don't know, it's a good question. But anyway, we're gonna try and stick to, uh, we're gonna try and stick to the topic here. Actually, Bap Jap has snapped his or herself right back onto topic with the next comment saying, I miss the good old days of file sharing. Streaming isn't the same. <laughs> Lots of good songs out there, not on these services. I know, but look, it was never easy to find the music you wanted. Uh, so, says Jacobs, if I want to use acapellas from a movie, uh, what's the mover? What's the mover? I don't know what you mean by that. But if you want to use an acapella from a movie, buy the movie, I would say. Then you've got the movie. Um, so, this is from, um, I'm going to pull one out from Baynard, who says, I did a, I did a gig two weeks ago. Uh, and I was using Tidal. Yeah, we were saying use Tidal for acapellas. Uh, however, Tidal prompted me to upgrade to the latest version. Is that a once a month deal or does it automatically upgrade to the latest version? I don't know. People have been telling us that Tidal has put its prices up for DJ use. I don't know. I might have gone up by a dollar or two, but has it? Someone said it had doubled. I don't know. I mean, often the, the Tidal app, the actual app will say upgrade to the, latest, the next version or if there's something changed in your software, the way it, it talks to Tidal, you have to upgrade. I don't know the answer to that, so if anyone can help me or just help uh, Baynard directly. Baynard's on YouTube, so uh, over there is where you can, uh, you can share that chat. Uh, so is the software downloading or streaming from these sources like Tidal or software or, or Spotify? Good question. So in your DJ software, uh, when you're DJing with uh, with stems in this kind of software and you get, uh, or rather with, uh, with streaming music and then you're using the controls to take out the acapella or whatever, uh, normally it will download the track that you choose onto the deck and then it will be local while you play it. So if the internet cut out halfway through the track, the track would, would play to the end fine. So when you drag it onto a deck from a streaming service, it will play. Some streaming services combined with some software is starting to offer downloadable cache files. So you can take a whole playlist and download it before the gig, which is great, but not all. Uh, so you do, do check the service and software you're using to see if that's available to you. But it will always download it to the computer before you play it. It's not playing it directly from the internet. So if the, if the internet does go down, you're not going to lose everything mid-song. Uh, right, so um, lots of you... <laughs> Lots of you, I mean, I love the honesty here. Lots of you really missing the torrenting sites. Um, so, uh, so there we go. Uh, right, so what else can I help you with with acapellas? Uh, right, so loads of you are asking about different acapella software. There is loads, Moises, Demux, um, Splitter. There's loads of software out there which will take an, a, a song and spit out the stems and give them back to you. You try whatever you want to try. The one I like best is Rip X. It, you have to buy it, you have to download it, but to me, it's easily the best of anything I've ever tried. But look, go ahead, try what you want. I get, you know, I get emails, apart from God bless everyone, people sending me productions and mixes they've made and asking for feedback, which I can just never do, or I wouldn't do anything else. I get every week two types of email. One is someone saying, hey, I can double your revenue on your YouTube channel in about a week. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. The other one is, uh, we've invented a new app that can spit out acapellas for DJs. Are you interested? It's like literally one a week. There's hundreds of them out there. Choose what you want. I recommend RIP X. 
Right, okay, acapellas, what can I help you with? Um, it's just, as always, fantastic to see you all chatting to each other and not needing my help. Uh, Quintin said on, on Facebook says, Recordbox needs to update their stems. Now, every song you load into a deck, it starts analyzing the stems. Turn it off. You don't have to have it turned on. But yes, it, it is, um, it is um, it's something that we're looking forward to. Mainly, we're looking forward to an improvement in the audio quality on Recordbox. Uh, you don't like my music, says acapellas are one of the main uses of channels three and four. Great thing. People say I've got a four deck controller. This isn't, this is a two deck controller. But people say I've got, a, although you have got access to decks three and four here. Uh, I've got a two, a four, four channel controller. What do I use it for? I don't want to DJ four songs. Nah, stick your DJ ident on deck three and stick an acapella on deck four. Done. So yeah, you're quite right there. It's a, one of the big uses of the extra decks on DJ gear is to is to use acapellas on them. You can have stuff going on uh, throughout your set and just be DJing normally on decks one and two. However, you don't need to. You can do this fine on a two deck controller. It's one of the things we cover in the forthcoming course. Uh, I love virtual DJ stems, uh, but I'm, oh, right, sorry, that's already, that's already happened. Uh, don't post your comments more than once, please, people. Um, with, a, being, with the politest uh, of requests, keep calm. No flaming, uh, and just ask once because I don't then read them out twice by mistake and waste everyone's time. Right, so hello uh, to uh, our to our viewers over in Greece. Um, I cannot pronounce your name because I do not read your um, alphabet. However, it's lovely to have you here over there on Facebook. Uh, this is from Shamari um, for the cost conscious DJ, especially those now starting out. Is there any free software you can suggest? Uh, this is something that. If you want to use stems, you can use Serato DJ Lite, and that works with any Serato controller. You can get Serato controllers nowadays for very, very little money, especially secondhand. And Serato DJ Lite has got the a cappella and the instrumental. Hasn't got the rest, but that's what most people want. So that would be my recommendation for doing this. Um, you don't like my music, says my label asks me to credit vocal samples. The problem is the sample libraries themselves rarely identify them. I know it's such a gray area. I mean, what we say to DJs is, look, if you're DJing with these, this, these things, it's all right. When you come to produce with these things, it is a minefield. It's one of the, uh, one of the biggest challenges of producers is, like you say, um, properly crediting people. Uh, this is from The Goat on Twitch. Hello, Twitch people. I'm a Tractor Pro user and I currently use the website lalal.ai, L-A-L-A-L.ai, to create split tracks for acapellas and instrumentals. How does Ripex compare and differ? Ripex gives you far more control over the output and has got a better quality output. That said, lalal.ai is good. I've used them before. They're one of the better ones uh, online, I think. So, Thank you for that. And um, Yo DJ Dai or Yo DJ Dell says another good one is Stemverter. Yeah, there literally are so many of these things out there. Uh, right, I think we're done for today. Thank you very much. Remember that if you liked this free lesson uh, and you want to learn more about us and the way we teach, uh, you can have a copy of this book. You can also have a copy of our gear guide, but more importantly, you can join the Digital DJ Tips community and get our weekly Tuesday email, which is full of stuff to help you become a better DJ and also to show you how you can improve your DJing. The Digital DJ Tips way will tell you about our courses and all that stuff. To join that, just head to the Digital DJ Tips website. I'll show you. And then at the very top of the website, you'll see a big fat join button. When you get there, uh, click it, and then you'll see a page where we tell you what you're going to get from Digital DJ Tips. Where's that button? It'll load in a minute. Always loads last the join button. Maybe we should get our developer to look at that. There it is. Click on there. Uh, and you'll see this page here, become a better DJ in just seven minutes a week. Click your email address in there and get everything that you read about underneath. It's the best thing you can do for your DJ today. So if you've enjoyed this show, uh, come and join us. There's the team. Uh, come and join us and we will uh, accept you on our membership list as our latest free member. And a copy of my book is waiting for you. Also in all good bookstores, etc., etc. But hey, I want you to have it for free. Uh, and remember that course, djtips.co slash stems in order to get on the list and be the first to know when the a cappella mixing course and stems mixing course goes live. Meanwhile, for me here in the studio, get good, get out there, make the moments, and I will see you again very soon. Till next time, bye bye.